Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. You know, uh, lately, the last few days here, this uh, Israel-Hamas deal uh, is getting spun, as usual, way out of control. And I'm seeing so many people, uh, you know, backing Israel, backing Israel, God's chosen, blah, 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 blah. And then I get the rebuttals that I must be backing Hamas. First of all, I want you all to understand something. I don't back anybody other than human beings, okay? And human beings don't need cliques. They don't need organizations. They don't need leaders, okay? Uh, they stand up for each other. They fight for each other. They protect each other. They help each other. Uh, so this is not an endorsement for anyone. But for you fucking fluoridated sheep who insist that Israel is, you know, such a good thing. I, I want you to listen to a little bit of this... Uh, <coughs> video we got here from press tv uh... and listen closely when it says israel is guilty of many terrorist attacks against the united states or something to that effect you'll hear it you'll know what i'm talking about uh, mister david duke hopefully uh, i do have you can hear me can you hear me sir yes i can, can alright welcome Hi. welcome to the program um, you have uh... said that nine eleven is an inside job. What are the main points that you have found that have pointed to it being an inside job? Well, I haven't used that exact terminology, inside job. Certainly a lot of people have said that. I have said that there's fairly fingerprints all over the whole 9-11 aspect. Uh, we know the DEA uh, actually had reports filed that there were Israeli agents, Mossad agents, on the same street as Muhammad Atta, the alleged hijacker, uh, we know that they were taking their conversation, and there's a huge amount of evidence that indicates that Israel, at the very least, knew what was going on way ahead of time. It did not warn the United States of America, which obviously constitutes a tremendous treachery against our country. And Israel has a long record of terrorism against America. In fact, uh, we. We can talk about the Levant affair. The Israeli government admitted to blowing up American installations in Egypt, trying to get us into a war against Egypt, which is catastrophic for America and American interests and American lives, as well as Egyptians and other people in the world. We know that the Liberty attack, the USS attack, attack, attack on USS Liberty in the 67 war, our Secretary of State at the time, Dean Rusk, very fine gentleman, as well as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the American military. Admiral Thomas Moore both said and said the very dying day that Israel knew exactly what they were doing in attacking the liberty with the deliberate attack. That's the Secretary of State of the United States. And of course we had the treachery in the Jonathan Pollard case. And I think there's a lot of reasons that Israel wanted 9-11 to happen. Okay, well, well let, me just ju let me just jump in here, Mr. David Duke. So uh, when you're yeah. alluding to the possibility of it being an inside job, are you saying an inside job as far as officials within the United States? Or are you saying that uh, it's possible that the Israelis uh, have been behind it uh, with American officials knowing about it? If you could expand on that a little bit for me, sir. Well, first off, you know, I don't, you know, there's a lot of opinions. I don't think it's very hard to know the answer. You have a surreptitious covert operation in the United States, and you had massive Israeli spying in the United States of America. And so just to say that we know how have all the answers or we know all the facts of what happened and what didn't happen, it's hard to do that. As an historian, as a man with a PhD in history, I want to go on hard, cold facts. And the hard, cold facts that we have, without any dispute, is the fact that five Israelis were arrested in New York, Assad Asian, uh, filming and documenting the attack. They were cheering the attack, according to all the witnesses involved. Uh, they were absolutely, certainly Mossad agents. They failed lie detector tests. We know that Israeli agents were in the same street as Mohammed Atta. We have uh, lots of evidence that Israel had a huge spy operation going on in the United States at this time. And we also know that Israel certainly had a lot to gain from these attacks. And in fact, 
because of these attacks, we had greater presence of America in the Middle East. We had more, more support going to Israel. We had a clamp down of the opposition in this country to the Israeli policies. And we also, the people against the Israeli policies, and we also had the Iraq War, which was taking out Israel's enemy at the time, Saddam Hussein. Uh, but this is, this is an old, old story with Israel in this country. We also knew that Israel was possibly facing war crimes trials in Europe with Ariel Sharon at the time. And we had the United Nations pointing out that Israel was a racist state. So all these things were going on. 9-11 was the Israeli anecdote to that. And we, we don't have all the facts and things. All right, peeps. Uh, I'm going to link you to that so you can hear that whole thing. Uh, I just wanted to give you enough to wake you up. You know... Uh, most of the people out there won't do their research anyway. Uh, quickly, while we're here, let's go check in on <coughs> Op Israel and let's show you, you know, because the anonymous haven't fallen for the propaganda and the bullshit. Um, they know that innocent lives are being lost and they're taking action against Israel. Bank of Jerusalem database deleted. Uh, anonymous hacks hundreds of Israeli websites. I'll link you to this search. Uh, the Op Israel search on Twitter to make it easy for you to get over there. Uh, all kinds of stuff going on, you know, and, and God bless them. God bless them because these people, although I know I'll, I'm already on the list, so I don't really give a fuck, but the terrorists and cyber terrorists, and let me tell you something when you can defend people and bring about change without spending trillions of dollars or shedding precious blood. Uh, really? Terrorist? Is that quite uh, the word that we should be using? It, it, don't get it twisted, folks, okay? So for all you people that say, Oh, Israel, the Chosen One. The Chosen One has been trying to fucking kill you, you stupid... I, I'm, you know, you're not stupid. I understand. The fluoride, the propaganda, the mainstream media. I don't mean to insult any of you. But you got to wake up. you got to do your research. you got to get the hell away. You know what? Sit in front of the mainstream media news only long enough to pick the topics of the day. And then Google them up, search them up, uh, look for the real information, compare both sides. But don't spend much time in front of that box uh, because it's just going to dumb you down, uh, train you how to think, what to believe. Okay, and again, I want to reiterate. This isn't a backing for anybody that drops bombs on anybody else, okay? I'm not for one side or the other. Uh, straight up the middle. There's women and children and innocent people and elderly being killed right now because of this it, w w border wars or w whatever the fuck. I mean, are any of us really even sure why any of these bombs are going off right now? I mean, definitive proof? Do we have... Really? Really? Well, just keep in mind that... what. 3,000 plus people died on 9-11 and there's plenty, I mean if, if uh, I had as much involvement with 9-11 as Israel did, I wouldn't be able to put this video out right now, so much love, many thanks the link to this and the link to the Op Israel Twitter search will be below, do some research <laughs>